This is called the ITX Semalu train and it is a new train. I think there are several of these, a new service in Korea. It's not the fast train, like this doesn't go 300 kph, but it's a limited train. It only stopped at one place between where I got on and where I got off here. And it is comfortable, it is more comfortable than the fast train. The seats on this are big, comfortable seats, and the, the ride is very smooth. I enjoyed it a lot. Well, my friend had mentioned that uh, she and her mother were at Tungnam Hospital near Daejeon Station. So I got to Daejeon Station, I looked around, I saw, oh, Tungnam Hospital. So I walked over there and I wasted about 30 minutes because it was the wrong hospital because my friend had told me the wrong name. There's another Chungnam Hospital, it's Chungnam University Hospital. So I finally got over here, and um, my friend's mother is in the ICU. There are a lot of ICUs, so they don't know, they don't know where to direct me. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting on my friend to respond on Kakao. And maybe I'll get to see her today. They do have a Cafe Bene, which is nice get a coffee. My friend and I were talking about something last week <clears throat> that um, even if you don't have insurance, medical treatment in Korea is quite affordable. And that's why I think they want to start medical tourism here because you can you can fly you could fly business class to Korea and get treatment for a serious illness for probably 20% or less what you would pay in the United States. Probably even 10% of what you'd pay in the United States, now that I think about it. Yeah, probably, probably a tenth. So even with the airplane ticket, you're saving a lot of money if you come to Korea for your medical treatment. It's a pretty good deal, I think. One reason, as I get older, I do not relish the thought of going back to a, a primitive country like America, where I might not be able to get medical care in my old age. It's kind of frightening. Getting old is a little scarier than I thought. Well, that was interesting. Um, here's, a, here's a good story for you. Ooh, air conditioning. Here's my story. I got in a taxi at the hospital, said goodbye to my friend and her mom, and got in a taxi. After a few blocks, the, the taxi driver said, uh, do you want American style coffee? I think that's what he was saying. And I said, no, no, just go to the train station. And uh, so he, uh, anyway, he pulled into the drive-thru at McDonald's on my dime. And uh, so I just, I just grabbed my bag and got out of the car and went went across the street and found another taxi. This first taxi driver, he, um, he chased me, he chased me down. And uh, when my taxi was stopped at a, at a light, he opened the door and started yelling at me. So, I didn't care. I explained to I explained to the new taxi driver what had happened. And, uh, he understands. So now I'm at the train station, but there are no seats. The next few trains have no seats available. So I will be standing on a Mugunghua for an hour and 20 minutes. That's life. Well, we're sitting on the uh, little step well for one of the 
the exit doors. At least I'm sitting down. It's not very comfortable. It's noisy. And there's no air conditioning here. I could go stand in the aisle. That's kind of what they expect you to do. But I don't like that. I'd rather sit down, even if it is hot. Right next to the bathrooms, too. 